I was approached by the former president of the Yoga Teachers Association, uh, Stephen Penn, uh, who asked me to accept the nomination um, several years ago to be the vice president, which I accepted. Don't know why, what I was thinking at the time, but I did, and, and quite happily. My involvement in the, uh, the Yoga Teachers Association really was a recognition that People do, yoga teachers do a lot of great work in the community, but I think we've got a lot of work to do to develop recognition and cohesion as, I guess, more or less as an identifiable profession. That's not to say that yoga teachers and yoga therapists aren't already, um, you know, acting in a professional manner, of course, of course they are. But to come together and to support each other as, uh, as professionals in the work that we do, uh, is very important. So I saw the need to get involved in that and recently, uh, last November, was uh, was asked to, to take on the role as president of the association, so that's what I do now. And our main focus really is to support yoga teachers in the work that they do, um, to bring yoga teachers together as a professional network, but also to, I guess, be involved in the development of the professional standards and the professional recognition of what yoga teachers already do offer, but often uh, offer it in a way that's not well recognised. So the Yoga Teachers Association started uh, just over 10 years ago, and it really started out as a group of very dedicated yoga teachers who saw the need, as I said, to bring yoga teachers together as a professional, uh, as a professional network. What's happened in more recent years is that as more and more people recognise yoga and seek out yoga from all different walks of life, uh, they inevitably turn to an organisation to represent what might be described as being the, uh, the peak industry body. So the Yoga Teachers Association, almost by default, almost by um, uh, a grassroots recognition, has in fact been sought out as being the the representative peak body of yoga in Australia. And as part of that, I, I guess, uh, emerging role, uh, we've decided to change our name from being the Yoga Teachers Association to Yoga Australia. And the reason for that is that the, the name Yoga Australia, number one, is more consistent with other representative organisations. And I also think it speaks more to a wider audience of people, uh, both in the community and professionally, uh, for what yoga is about rather than being something specifically and exclusively for yoga teachers.